All right, so I got my 24 inch condenser dryer here that that's ventless and it's going to replace that old thing right there. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so what I got here is the GE Compact Condenser Dryer and this is the 24 inch and actually the width is way less than 24 inch it's about 23 and 7 16 or something like that and the exact model number is right there GFT 114 ESSM1 WW um, <laughs> one thing I did try to attempt to do is um, I try to switch the doors but apparently there's actually an extra step so I will go through that later because obviously it does not close when the window is um, upside down like that because there's that portion that has to be switched so I'll have to take a look and see what else extra I have to do because I switched over these plates um, in any case just wanted to give you a quick look here uh, this is the well reservoir but I will actually be putting in this tube here so it has this extra tube that will lead to the drain now this is ventless so you can see there is absolutely no vent and the way the drain works is in the back here normally it drains down to a bucket in the bottom here so I'll be putting this right there and then I'll be putting the hose in place of this at the top and then draining it out. Um, but I did want to give you an overall kind of look of this thing from the back. And this is the wiring. So I'll open up this later and uh, give you a look-see right there. Um, there is some sort of, oh, three wire connection here. So that, that's kind of interesting. Not sure what that is. Um, oh, what do you know? There is a uh, telephone jack or something, or ethernet cable. And this is the reservoir that gets pumped up instead. But if when it gets pumped up, if, if I replace the hose, it'll get pumped out from the hose. So, um, and just a side view here. Side view here, side view. So uh, one thing I did want to mention is I am going to stack it up on top of this and <laughs> uh, I don't actually have a stacking kit so what I'm going to do is simply use Gorilla Tape, you know three strips of Gorilla Tape on the side. They're both around the same 23 and like 7 16 inch so th this is the old one that I have. Um, but so so that's the kind of like the tip of the day, which is uh, using Gorilla Tape as the uh, stacking kit, believe it or not. Um, it should hold up because, hey, this particular one has held up and it did not have a stacking kit. So it just dried up on top. And even when the uh, washer at the bottom was shaking, this did not shake off. So, um, you know, with the Gorilla Tape, you know, uh, three, four strips on each side should hold it. Um, and I'll check it periodically, but I can't see why that wouldn't hold it. I mean, it, it looks bad cosmetically, but who's who's going to look to the side? You know what I mean? So, so um, in any case, uh, let me get working on the door. Okay, so when it comes to reversing the door, it's not just the hinges, so I just reverse the hinges. What I have to do is actually rotate the window also. So you notice here it says remove the six screws, rotate it 180 degrees, and then replace the six screws. So um, I did do the hinge, and I thought that was it, but if, if you notice, this is not completely round. So this flat part is actually up top now. And so there's the six screws along the top here so so there's the six screws along the top here one two three and then another one two three so once I take that out and flip the window um, I should be good to go all right so you see the door there I took it out with the six screws 
and the six screws just along the outer edge. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. And because there's a flat part and it's not completely round, you gotta flip it so that it closes. And here is how it looks with this window uh, screwed out. So let me go ahead and flip it and screw it back in. All right, so the round edge is now on top. Round edge, flat edge, flat edge. So I flipped this window, flipped these uh, hinges right here from there to there. And let's see if it works like a charm. And it does. So there you go. That is, um, you know, the flipping of the uh, door there. And uh, it's good, good to know. So, alrighty. Yep, this is pretty decent. All right. Now as far as the condenser down here, here's the door, pop it in, take it out, of course all these are kind of plasticky. Now it has the two clips, one on each end, and um, I suppose twist it out like that, it takes a little bit of force, a little bit, a little bit, right there. And taking this out, let's see, did I do it right? Un unclipping this, yep, just pushing it like that. So, some takes a little bit of wiggling, it, it sometimes it just gets a uh, and then you push it down a little bit, so which is what I did. So this is the condenser here. So this needs cleaning about every month or so. All right, put that in. Clip it in like that. Clip this back in like that. So. So that is the condenser. Door closed. Um, and this is the weather raw, which, which I will not be using because I'm going to be using the drainage hose at the back. So that's that. So that's that. Um, all right. So this here is the four wire connection and I suppose that there is the three wire connection. So just keep that in mind with the three wire connection. So with the four wire connection here, I have the, the ground right here. And of course, this is a uh, black, white, neutral, and red. So uh, fairly straightforward with the four wire connection. It does have the screws there. So uh, interestingly enough, uh, yeah, here's the ground. So that's that. And the way the drain works is in the back here. Normally it drains down to a bucket in the bottom here. So I'll be putting this right there and then I'll be putting the hose in place of this at the top and then draining it out. So you notice here I got the hose attached right there. So this here is just the empty hook. It's just a placeholder for putting the um, extra hose so that's nothing that connects to nothing this is where the actual hose will pump out water upwards so this hose that it comes with is about three feet now three feet sounds a little bit long but actually it's very short when it's curled up so just keep that in mind um, notice that I also taped it just to give it some slack and keep it in place um, I try not to put it in the metal because I don't know whether the metal gets hot or not, but uh, at the same time I kind of did. Uh, you know, just keep it a little bit loose, you know, let it 
let it kind of uh, just be a little bit loose there and it should be fine. And that's really it. So I'm just gonna put that in the drain hose, you know, connect up the wiring here and it should be good to go. And you can see that is again the three wire and that is the four wire. So, and this here is, I guess, a diagnostic sort of uh, plug. And I do want to mention in the back here, you know, it's ventless. I, I guess they have some uh, heat, you know, some, some heat proof stuff in case you put it right against the wall. So this is just cushion, probably a heat shield also. Um, I guess that's really all I have in the back here. Just want to give you a good look at the back. You notice I also put some electrical tape just to cushion it. I, I don't want it pushing up against there. And if I did it, I want something like kind of soft. So. I did also want to give a better angle at the back here. So uh, normally there's the electrical plate that protects this. Um, you, you could see that this top part juts out a little bit. Um, but it is almost nearly flush with this heat shield right here. So the depth is uh, basically about uh, what it mentions in the specifications. And there is kind of like a strainer for the electrical plug. Also, uh, just moving up and down. So hopefully you get a pretty decent idea of you know, your installation situation. Uh, that's really it for me, and I hope this helped, and please subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. So the reason why I'm substituting the Gorilla Tape for the stacking kit is because uh, I have two dissimilar brands. Right at the bottom there is actually a Bloomberg, and here is a GE, and they are basically roughly the same width so in depth so uh, it should work out pretty well just with the um, gorilla <laughs> gorilla tape so um, I actually am fairly confident so so I was absolutely not joking when I said I was gonna use gorilla tape as the um, stacking kit so um, you know hopefully gorilla tape with you know three or four strips on each side will hold very well and I will report on that uh, and let you know. So I have four strips of Gorilla Tape on each side. So when the washer shakes and the dryer shakes, it will tug against uh, each side of those strips. So I saw a video on Project Farm that showed that Gorilla Tape, each strip holds 100 pounds vertical weight. So these are going to be really strong. I also have two and a half feet per strip. So you can imagine, you know, with eight strips, four on each side, tugging against each other as the wash and dryer shakes. It's, uh, you know, I'm very, very confident that it's going to hold simply because my previous one had nothing and that held really well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be good. Is this, does this have a sensor or? It does. Okay. Yep. So I'm assuming they all do. So there you go. I hope this helps and please subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching.